Neil, you scared the bejesus out of me. Sorry. It's okay. Is that the Matrix? Yeah. Do you always look at it encoded? Well, you have to. The image translators work for the construct program. But there's way too much information to decode the matrix. You get used to it. I, I don't even see the code. All I see is blonde, brunette, redhead. Hey, you, uh, want a drink? Sure. You know, um, I know what you're thinking. Because right now I'm thinking the same thing. Actually, I, I've been thinking it ever since I got here. Why, oh, why didn't I take the blue pill? <coughs> Good shit, huh? <coughs> Dozer makes it. It's good for two things. Degreasing engines and killing brain cells. Oh. So, uh, can I ask you something? Did he tell you why he did it? Why you're here? Jesus! What a mind job. So you're here to save the world. What do you say to something like that? A little piece of advice. You see an agent, you do what we do. Run. You run your ass off. Thanks for the drink. Sweet dreams. And lunch. Clark, why don't you go away? Why don't you relax? Why don't you go away? I'm just having fun with my new friend, that's all. Wait, are you gonna have a problem? No, 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 there's no problem here. I was just hoping you might give me some insight into the evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies. My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary War, the economic modalities, especially in the southern colonies, could most aptly be characterized as agrarian pre-capital. All right, of course that's your Hang contention. On a You're a first-year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxian historian, Pete Garrison, probably. You're gonna be convinced of that till next month when you get to James Lemon. Then you're gonna be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's gonna last until next year. You're gonna be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital-forming effects of military mobilization. As a matter of fact, I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social distinctions. Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of your own on this matter? Or do you, is that your thing? You come into a bar, you read some obscure passage, and then pretend you, you pawn it off as your own? Is your own idea just to impress some girls, embarrass my friend? See, the sad thing about a guy like you is in 50 years, you're gonna start doing some thinking on your own and you're gonna come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. One, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar 50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs> yeah, but I will have a degree and you'll be serving my kids fries at a drive-through on our way to a skiing trip. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but at least I won't be unoriginal. But, I mean, if you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside. We could figure it out. No, nah, man, there's no problem. It's cool. It's cool? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Damn right, it's cool. How you like me not? <laughs> My boy's wicked smart. Yeah.
一つ聞きたいことがあるんだけどなぜ自分たちと関わりのない人間を殺せるの白旗を上げた割に敵意満々といった顔だななぜだろうな関係ないからじゃないかいや改めて問われると答えがたいものだな動機の言語化かあまり好きじゃないしなしかし案外いややはりと言うべきか自分を掴む鍵はそこにあるかなんだこいつこのままホテルまで行きフィンクスたちを待つ逃げようとしたら殺していい了解This is the extended golf scene. Originally in the film, we had made it a, a much more cryptic scene. So this is the extremely overt um, golf course scene, which I thought gave too much away. So we ended up compromising between the two. I'm not doing here. Get out of this, Jake. The formula's the same, but where does it stop, Mr. Green? What the fuck does he know about the formula? Where does this game stop? What are you doing, Jake? He's playing head games with you again. Is it me that's playing head games with you, Mr. Green? You've heard that voice for so long, you believe it to be you. You believe it to be your best friend. They should believe their opponent to be their best friend. Where's the best place an opponent should hide? In the very last place you would ever look. And if the opponent is smart, you replace his victim within an environment that he can control. The bigger the environment, the easier the control. Gradually, the victim will play by the rules he's told to play by. And he will be controlled by those rules. What is the first rule of any game, Mr. Green? The only way to get smarter is by playing a smarter opponent. The art is for the opponent to feed pieces to the victim to make them believe they took those pieces because you're smarter and I'm dumber and he does this by repeating one simple question small question that drives all success what's in it for me so the opponent simply distracts their victim by getting them consumed with their own consumption so that gradually he will hang himself What's rule two of any game? The more sophisticated the game, the more sophisticated the opponent. If you knew it was game, it wouldn't be a very sophisticated one now, would it? Look, that's enough. That's enough, Avi. And do you know what's so elegant about this game? I said that's enough! The more the victim invests, the less chance they will turn back. Eventually, when the opponent is challenged or questioned, it means the victim's investment and thus his intelligence is questioned. No one can accept that. Not even to themselves. No con is this big. No, no, no. The bigger and older the trick, the easier it is to pull. Based on two principles. They think it can't be that old, and they think it can't be that big for so many people to have fallen for it. No con is this big. The best con and the only confidence trick ever pulled. There's no such thing as an external opponent. He's all up here, pretending to be you. And all of this, this is his playing field. And he controls it. You're telling me. Everything I've ever invested in is a con. The more a man invests in that question, the more powerful that man will become. You're wrong. That's why you're still playing this game, Jake. Play by his rules, and you are controlled by his rules. You have to teach me that trick sometime. Eventually, you will lose. Take the stairs. Take the stairs. If you change the rules on what controls you, 
not thinking of giving away my money to a pair of fucking loan sharks. You will change the rules on what you can control. You only need credit in his world. The more he gets, the stronger he gets. The stronger he gets, the more control he has. The remedy to credit is humiliation. And I know nothing hurts more than humiliation and a little money loss. How radical are you prepared to be, Mr. Green? What's the very last thing you want to do, Jake? The very last thing. Ha <laughs> <laughs>